Hello guys and welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In this episode we are not going to be going to the Eastern Palace, which is what you would normally do if you were playing this game. But indeed we are going to be going to Kakariko Village. We're going to be getting some heart pieces and also along the way we're going to be going to Lost Woods. So what you can do is you can just avoid all of these guys because they are just there to kind of annoy the hell out of you. Right over here is a fortune teller. You really only would need to go to her if you didn't know where to go. You were kind of lost. Oh Jesus! Okay then, that was... that was just perfect. Anyways, we're gonna be going right up here because this is the entrance to the Lost Woods. Of course there are many other entrances, but this is just right in our path. Now these birds right here, I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but these birds annoy the hell out of me. They always seem to hit me no matter what I do. Anyway, here's our first heart piece. We're gonna be collecting three more in this episode and we're gonna be going to five hearts in total. Oh, hello there, nasty man. Hey kid, this is a secret hideout for a gang of thieves. Yeah, don't enter without permission. By the way, I heard that one of our members is staying at the entrance to the uh, the desert. So, why the hell would he tell us that? I, whatever. Go, go, <laughs> go figure. So, anyways, before we leave the Lost Woods, you're gonna want to go up here. You're gonna go take a left, and oh, good lord, what is this nasty-looking thing? It looks like a nose. This mushroom smells like sweet rotten fruit. You can give this to anyone who wants it. Who would want a mushroom that smells like sweet rotten fruit? Well, we will find that out very soon. Yeah, we actually will be giving that to someone in this episode. And these damned birds I cannot stand these things. So anyways, you're gonna want to go out of the way that you came into the Lost Wards, and now we're gonna officially be heading to Kakariko Village! Eat Boomerang! How would, that, how would that feel if you were a guard and some kid just threw a boomerang at you and killed you? I honestly, I would be kind of sad and I would hate myself. Although I would be dead, so... <laughs> I don't really think it would matter if, if you died after that. So anyways, when you go into Kakariko Village, you're gonna want to go all the way over to the left. Just follow this white road up over chair, and then right here you will see this little well. You can jump down here and we're gonna collect a bunch of goodies in here along with a heart piece. So right here we're going to be collecting the bombs for the first time. All you have to do is go here and you'll notice that there is a little crack over here in this wall and while the bomb is going off, we we'll collect our rupees. So we need a hundred rupees to buy the bottle, which we're going to be buying right after this. I'm pretty sure we have enough. Dun, 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 dun. We found another piece of heart! So here's our second piece of heart. We're gonna be collecting two more. Oh yeah, I bet you're just excited as hell right now. So anyways, after you leave that, you're gonna wanna go over here. I'm gonna go down, up, and then right to this man. You sir, have you gone through life without one of my hold anything bottles? Well step right up and make your life complete. I've got one on sale now for the low, low price of a hundred rupees. What do you say, interested? I'll take one, mister. Goodbye! Thanks a lot! Now hold it above your head for the whole world to see, okay? It's good for business! Dun 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 dun! This is a magic bottle, you can store an item! Blah blah blah, we'll be storing a lot of fairies in here. So the next thing that we're gonna be getting is you're gonna wanna stay in Kakariko Village. You're gonna wanna go right over here to this house. I don't know why I went the long way, but any hoozle, we're just gonna go into this random guy's house and he's like, what the hell are you doing in my house? <sighs> I can't go out because I'm sick. <laughs> People say I caught this cold from the evil air that is coming down off the mountain. <laughs> this is my bug catching net. I'll use it when I'm better, but for now I'll lend it to you. Honestly, why, why are you giving us this? That's so random. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be using this to catch various things, mainly fairies. That is the probably the most helpful thing. And right here... Oh, here's a pot. Nothing under that pot. Wonder, 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 why is there a chicken under that pot? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna find another magic bottle in here, so in case you somehow do not have a hundred rupees, you can always go there and get that and then go back later. So now, what you're gonna wanna do is there's this guy right here, but the only way you can get up to him is when you get the Pegasus boots, which is probably going to be in part three or four. I think part four. Anyways, this is optional, but if you want, you can talk to this guy. And he'll be like, oh yeah, I know where the Elder's at. And then, if you open up your map, you'll notice all the way to the right, there is a flashing X. That is where we need to go to talk to the Elder and also get our way to the Eastern Palace. And now, right down... 
give me that. Right down here, if you put a bomb right in the middle, and then stand back. Bum ba da! Some goodies are in here, and there's a couple of rats, so just. What? Okay. Oh! Freaking rats, man! Anyway, there's gonna be some rupees, some bombs, some arrows, and you're probably wondering, why the hell would I want arrows now? Well, you're going to be getting the bow very, very soon. Actually, in part three, I believe we're gonna be getting the bow. So, okay, so a couple more things that we need to do. Uh, next thing you're gonna wanna do is actually do not talk to any of these people. I'm pretty sure there's only like one that won't, you know, go all crazy on you. But everyone else will indeed be like, oh guards, come here and save us. I'm pretty sure this dumb ass lady will do that too. So anyways, you're gonna wanna break into her house without her noticing, of course. Place a bomb right there. Oh man, a secret entrance. I totally just broke into your house and I blew up a freaking hole in your wall. <laughs> so we get 10 more arrows right there. So we are at 15 right now. I'm pretty sure we can hold 25 or 30. I don't exactly remember. But anyways, after you do that, you're gonna wanna get him out of your way. And, uh, of course, you can either do this, or there's another thing you can do. I just find it easier to go down here first, because we're gonna need to travel up back towards the sanctuary, so it's kind of smarter just to get all this out of the way. So, that is a library right there, which we will be visiting soon. Right over here is a little contest game thing, so there's actually absolutely no point to go over there. So, right up in here, you're gonna notice that there is a guy and a crack over in the wall. If you talk to him... Yeah, BPL! Now I'm quarreling with my younger brother! I sealed the door to his room! Why in the hell would you seal the door to his room if you were just quarreling? <laughs> that is the most random thing ever, but anyways, you talk to his, apparently, twin. Hey, BPL! Did you come from the older brother's room? Is he still angry? Kinda wish you could talk to him. I would've been like, yeah, that guy is so f***ing mad at you, dude. So anyways, right over here is gonna be a race. If you can reach the goal within 15 seconds, we'll give you something good! Ready, set, go! So anyways, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut these five bushes right here. Go up to the left, cut these three bushes, and then right here you can jump down. Talk to this nasty little man. Nine seconds. I have not been able to get it any lower than nine seconds. So if any of you have been able to do that, I commend you. So we just need one more piece of heart, which we're gonna be collecting in Kakariko Village as soon as we go back up there. And then we're gonna be heading towards the Eastern Palace, but around there we're gonna be uh, actually giving the rotten fruit to someone, so you'll see that very soon. So anyways, uh, if you guys have not yet, what is your favorite older game, specifically more around this era? SNES, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is definitely my all-time favorite game. Older game, probably even could compete with a lot of the newer games, but I'm curious as to what is your favorite older game? It could be N64 era, it could be this era, it really doesn't matter. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to this house, and if you want, you can talk to this guy. Yo, BPL, this house used to be a hideout for a gang of thieves. What was the leader's name? Oh yeah, his name was Blind, and he hated Bright Light a lot. So any <laughs> anyways, we are actually going to be coming back here, but not for a long, long time. So right down here, you'll see there's four chests. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push this block down, this block over, this block down, this block down, this block over, this block... Uh, oh crap, I think I did it wrong. Ah, crap, I did it wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Anyways, let's try that again. You push that one down, push that over, push that one down, that one down, that one over. Don't push that one up! There you go, and it should look like a loser symbol. So there you go. Each one of these chests contains 10 rupees, so we're gonna be swimming in the rupees as of right now. So this isn't really a speed run if you haven't noticed yet, I'm kinda just going along my way, having a fun time, collecting all kinds of stuff. Uh, I didn't really want to do a speed run anyways. And in this room, not only are there a ton of blue rupees, but there is also in this chest... Ba -da -ba -da! Another heart piece! We are now at five hearts, so we're gonna have five hearts before we even go to the Eastern Palace, which is pretty good. So uh, now, I am gonna meet you guys back at Sanctuary, so in case you are Perhaps playing with this, just go there, and I will I will see you there soon. All right, guys, we're now back at Sanctuary, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the right. You're going to notice that there is indeed a graveyard right here. There's absolutely nothing we can do at this graveyard, so I'm just going to take out my little, my little, my little, my little boomerang. I was actually going to call, call it a crossbow, and I am just tripping over all my words right here. But anyways, there's really nothing we need over here, so you can just stun that guy, run past him. 
What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go down here. Okay, that was bull crap. How did that not hit him? He's gonna be a pain if you don't stop. Okay. There are indeed these annoying guys. One hit with that, we'll get rid of him. You're gonna want to go up here. You notice that there are these stones there. We can't pick those up yet, but we will be able to later. And I would highly suggest you do not attack these guys, because I will show you... Well, let's see. You can stun them and kill them, but if you attack them without stunning them, they will indeed inflict a decent amount of damage on you. So here's a nasty little witch. What does she say? Mmm, a smell of rotten fruit. If you can give me that mushroom, I can finish my brew. <laughs> That's a weird laugh. Anyways, give her that. And she's like, oh, thank you, young man. Come back to the shop for something good. This is actually going to be very helpful to our to our success in beating the next dungeon. So what you want to do is you just want to go to the screen and then come back, go into the shop right here, and bam, you have this magic powder. You can sprinkle this on things, and specifically in dungeons, you can sprinkle them on anti-fairies, and it will turn into fairies. And also, if you are low on life, feel free to talk to this person when you come in there, and he will refill all of your hearts. So now we're going to make our little trek to the Eastern Palace, and then we're going to end it there. Uh, hopefully you guys are... Oh god, back off, biatch! It's... Now you die just because you did damage to me. It doesn't even drop a heart. So anyways, we're going to make our way down to the Eastern Palace. And then after that, we're just going to end it right there. So the Eastern Palace has absolutely the easiest boss. Well, if you count if you count the, the ball and chain trooper as a real boss, then the actual Eastern Palace one is a little more difficult than him. Oh, Lord. Usually I don't get hit when I go through there. Cough, 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 cough. Okay, what the hell? Leave me alone. Haha, <laughs> I dodged it like a boss. So, anyways, right over here, this is, it's, it's kind of a little bit of a maze to get to the east. Can I hit him? Yes. It's a little bit of a maze to get there, but I'm gonna do something real quick before we go over there. I'm gonna wanna equip your bombs. And uh, if you are indeed around these guys, feel free to kill them, because they will drop a decent amount of rupees. Uh, this is where it actually wants you to go if you're actually following the story. I said actually a lot of times there. But you'll go in here, and here's the Elder. I am indeed Sasha Harala, the village Elder and a descendant of the Seven Wise Men. Oh, really? BPL, I'm surprised a young man like you is searching for the Sword of Evil's Bane. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legend says that a hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Do you really want to find it? G okay, so basically we have to go to the Eastern Palace and we have to get that. So, right over here, there are some hearts in here. And what you can do is you can either bomb this wall or you can wait until you finish the Eastern Palace. But I kind of just like to bomb this first because you'll, you'll see why in a second. Not only do you get more bombs in here, but you also, if it goes away, you can get a hundred rupees in this room. Makes you feel like a boss. Alright, so after you've exited his little hut that is apparently surrounded by enemies, these are Armos Knights, by the way. They will come to life when you get close to them, as you can see right there. I think it takes four hits to kill them. Yeah, four hits to kill them. Alright, so from there, you're gonna wanna go down. We're gonna have to kill this guy. I'm pretty sure this is the last Armos Knight we're gonna need to kill. Of course, there is this douchebag right here. Okay, right over here. You can avoid him by jumping down the ledge. Go up these stairs, and you're gonna see that stairs are indeed the natural enemy to everyone in this game. Because <laughs> he, he's just like, how do I go upstairs? I don't know how to go upstairs. And here we are, the entrance to the Eastern Palace. But we're gonna end it here, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up the video, or thumbs me. You can thumbs me hard if you want. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I will see you in the next episode. My name is Banana Pie Lord.